This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. Break-even analysis is a powerful management tool. It is used in planning, decision-making, and controlling expenses. It can also be useful in determining whether to buy or lease, expand into a new area, build a new plant, and many other business applications. It can also show the impact on your business of changing your price structure. In this tutorial, we will examine the effect of changes in the selling price, variable costs, and the fixed costs on profit using a break-even chart. With volume increasing on the x-axis, you can see that the fixed costs don't change depending on the volume. After all, it is fixed. Some examples of fixed costs are lease costs, rent, and insurance. The fixed costs are shown at the point where the total cost line crosses the y-axis. On the other hand, variable costs such as labor, materials, and supplies are costs that change with the volume of production. The total variable cost is the variable cost per unit, in other words, how much we are spending in labor and material cost for each unit that we are producing. Multiply by how many units we sell and that's our total variable cost. If we plug in the variable cost on top of the fixed costs, we get the total cost line. Our total cost is, therefore, the sum of the fixed costs plus the total variable costs. We have a line that has a positive slope and it starts out at what the fixed costs are and goes up from there. Now we look at the total revenue line on the chart. The total revenue is a function of the units sold. It is a function of our selling price per unit times the number of units sold. You can see that when we sold no units, we don't have any revenue, so we're at zero. But we go up with a line that has a slope equal to the selling price of the product. Break-even volume is what I want to talk about now. The break-even volume is a specific number, and it refers to the number of units that you need to sell so that the total revenue equals total cost. Where the total revenue and total cost lines intersect is the break-even point, and the volume there is called the break-even volume. And this is a very important concept. Most companies will know what their break-even volume is because they know until they hit that point, they don't have a profit. If your actual volume is greater than the break-even volume, then you have a profit. Now we're looking to the left of the break-even point, area shaded in red. Here we didn't generate enough revenue to take care of our costs. If your actual volume is less than the break-even volume, then it means that you're not selling enough to cover your expenses. So you have a loss. Let's take a closer look at what break-even analysis is telling us. Suppose the management develops a new process, layout, or selection of new equipment that reduces fixed costs for the company. Profit is increased by the amount of savings on the fixed costs. On the break-even chart, a reduced fixed cost lowers the total cost line, which results in increased profits to the company. But in addition to that, you will notice that break-even point is lowered. When the management is able to reduce these fixed costs for the company, they have a very direct impact on the profitability of the company and on how soon they begin making profit by lowering the break-even point. Next, we will decrease the variable cost per unit. Suppose the management is able to reduce material and labor costs for each unit produced. The savings are realized now for each unit sold. For example, if you're able to figure out how to make parts with less time or less material, you are in this category. The slope of the variable cost line decreases if we decrease the variable cost and so the break-even point is reduced, and our fixed costs are recovered sooner and profits are increased. 
What if we are able to increase the selling price per unit? Raising the selling price without lowering volume increases profit. Here, our total cost line is the same, but our total revenue line is higher because the selling price per unit is higher. So at the same selling volume X, we are making more profit. Again, in this case, the break-even volume is reduced. Break-even analysis is a powerful tool. It helps you determine what sales volume you need to reach before you start making a profit. At the break-even point, there is no profit, there is no loss. If you sell more than the break-even point, you make a profit. If you sell less, you lose money. Break-even analysis explores the relationship between cost and revenue in relation to sales volume. As a result, you are able to set optimal pricing and determine optimal production.